will now discuss something like magnetic effect of electric current so when you say electric current we said already the charges are in motion okay whenever charges are in motion they produce a magnetic field surrounding them okay so how can we see a magnetic field we can't see a magnetic field right if i have a wire and then say can i see whether there it is carrying some electric current or not it's not possible see to see it visually it is not possible so what we need to take is the help of some other device which will show visually for us whether there is electric current existing in the wire or not you can take an ammeter and connect to a wire in series to the wire so that when current is passing through the wire the same current passes through the ammeter if the ammeter shows some deflection then you can say that yes there is some current to the wire okay but you can't take a risk and then catch hold of the wire and to check okay if the current is there it will pass through our body and then we'll say yes current is there in the wire so we cannot directly catch hold of the wire with our naked hand and then check it's a risky job right similarly whenever we say there is a magnetic field associated with the current we, it is not possible for us to see that particular magnetic field so we need to take the help of some other device like a magnetic compass or a magnetic needle so that when you place it near a magnetic field it will have some deflection okay let us take an ordinary compass okay if i hold an ordinary compass in my hand and see you can see that compass has a small magnetic needle which is su suspended freely and it is free to rotate horizontally i'll keep the compass in a horizontal direction and just check it out in which direction the knob of the compass is showing okay if i change the orientation like this the needle in the compass will changes direction okay but irrespective of whether you orient it in different directions like this hold the compass in your palm and then move about like this you will be seeing that irrespective of in what or the direction you handle the compass the north pole of the needle in the compass will always point towards the geographic north okay and so it is with the help of this compass you take an ordinary bar magnet okay i place a bar magnet and i hold a compass near it i just move around the compass in front of this bar magnet and i'll be able to see yes there is some change in the direction associated with the needle why because this small compass needle is in the presence of this bar magnetic field so the bar magnetic field is changing at it is its different value and a different direction at different locations surrounding the bar magnet so when i place a compass within that region okay you will be able to see that okay its direction is changing also the strength is also changing so we will not be able to judge what is the strength but we will be able to see what is the direction of the magnetic field at each and every location within that region okay whatever the region is there surrounding a bar magnet will call it as a magnetic field so if a small compass when placed in a magnetic field is changing its direction as per the magnetic field same concept we can bring it out here and then check it out whether a current carrying conductor will have some magnetic field associated with it or not if i have a wire like this connected to a compass a, a battery here i have a cell or a battery and i have a plug key over here let us say i have an ammeter over here okay and then it is connected if at all i wanted to I, i can have an ammeter or i can have a bulb over here okay and then passing on so this is a switch if i switch on the ammeter will show some reading and the bulb will glow what i'll do is i'll place a compass below it whenever i switch it on i will see a deflection in the needle okay so this indicates clearly that there is a relation between electric current and the magnetic field generally why does this show a deflection 
this shows reflection only in the presence of a magnetic field. So when it is placed over here, say the wire is there and below the wire I am placing the magnetic needle and I switch it on, immediately there is some deflection observed in the needle. So whenever the deflection is observed in the needle, that means when I switch it on, it is showing some direction. When I switch it off over here, I remove the plug key over there, then again it comes back to the normal position. This clearly shows that there is a link between the magnetic field and the electric current. We very well know that whenever you switch it on, the current will pass through the circuit and then the ammeter will show some deflection, the bulb will glow. As soon as this is happening, I am observing a change in the direction of the needle over there that implies that there is a connection between. That means whenever there is a current passing through it, there is some magnetic field surrounding the wire. Okay. So not only here, here also the magnetic, needle, magnetic field will be created but I am placing it near this particular part of the wire so I will be able to see the deflection because of the current through this wire. Now I need to judge what is the direction, okay, what is the direction of the magnetic field, okay. Now this is a straight current carrying conductor, okay. Now this is placed horizontally. So instead of that what I will do is I will make an experiment where I will take a cardboard with a small hole over here. I will place it horizontally, I will fix it horizontally with the help of a stand or something like that which I am not drawing on the board. I will pass a wire and th this particular part of the wire is above this cardboard. The bottom part I will not be able to see, I am just draw drawing a dotted line and here the, the wire which is connected to a battery or a cell, okay, battery and then to a plug key and if it an, an, an ammeter over here and then I am connecting this end over here. If I want I have a bulb over there and then again connect it out over here. Same way. But the thing is like what I am doing is I am placing, I am passing through this, this was horizontally. Instead of making it horizontally, I am keeping it vertical. This part of the wire I am keeping it vertical and I am passing through that wire through a cardboard. Okay. Now this cardboard, as I told you, this is placed horizontally by some arrangement. I am not showing the arrangement over here. What I will do is, this cardboard being horizontal to the surface, I will sprinkle some iron filings. Some iron filings I will sprinkle. Okay. And then I will switch it on here. When I switch it on the circuit, okay, and then gently tap the board. I will gently tap the board. What will happen is, as soon as I gently tap the board, all these iron filings will get arranged themselves in circular patterns. 